Hi, I'm Rick Weaver and I'm going to be demonstrating a tonal technique today. There are lots of different ways to use tone. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is a very, fairly traditional way of, uh, of using value in a drawing. With Conte crayon on a tone sheet of paper and what I did at the beginning um, is I took my Conte and I rubbed it onto the Strathmore paper and then I took some soft toilet tissue and rubbed it to get an even tone. Tone is not going to solve your drawing problem, so it's really important to, to feel comfortable about your drawing in terms of its proportions, in terms of the perspective and um, the character of the shapes that, you, that you're attempting to, to draw, to make sure that those things are resolved in line before you go to tone. Um, the second idea that I, that I would like to, to stress is that um, it's important to keep your tone simple at the beginning. So, here I have a mid-tone, and I'm going to um, create um, basically three values here. I've got a mid-tone, I'm going to add a dark value for my shadows, and I've already sort of mapped out where my shadows are. I'm drawing, and then with my stump, I'm going to come in and put in that, that darker tone. Um, it's very easy to see a lot of different tones. Um, what's difficult at the beginning is to keep your tonal structure simple. Um, a lot can be described with a very uh, limited number of tones. So rather than putting in a lot of tonal shapes, you want to try to kind of rely on your drawing and keep your, keep your tonal structure fairly simple at the beginning. So right now, whatever's, whatever's in the shadow, I'm just letting it be that this simple uh, single shadow shape. I'm not worrying about all the little differences I see in, in values. And, um, and I also take this, uh, sort of take this opportunity at the beginning to, to just let things merge, to not worry about um, the difference between, uh, between different objects or different elements of the of the figure, say like in here, I'm not worried about the difference between the nose, the muzzle, the mouth, and the mouth. That's all just shadow. So the, the approach to value at the beginning in this, in this way of working is to, is to see the tone in a very flat way, to not worry about things like volume yet. That's something that you can get to later. But the first, first job is to, is to just very simply and flatly lay out your, your tonal structure in sim again, as simple a way as possible. So, so now I have two values. I've got this mid-tone and, uh, and a dark shadow. Let me complete my cast shadows over here. And one of the nice things about keeping things very simple and flat at the start is that Obviously, once you put in tone, you're able to see your drawing a little bit more clearly, so you have a better, uh, better sense of just how good your line drawing was once you, once you put in your tonal, um, tonal, the simple tonal structure. So if you keep things really simple, then, um, then you're in a better position to make corrections. I think once we become um, sort of emotionally invested in in the drawing, which happens when you get involved with a lot of detail, I think, um, then, um, then that ability to make changes later um, is just a little bit more difficult. You really seem less, uh, less willing to do it. So, so keeping things flat and simple at the start I feel is, um, for me is, is extremely important. And then with three values, what I can do is, um, with another value, I can add a light to this. Um, and so then I look at the look at the object and I sort of ask myself which which areas are receiving the most light. So there's an area up here and on top of the nose, on top of the cheek. And so when I when I add those areas, um, sort of get to the third um, third aspect of of this kind of tonal drawing. That's that's an that's an important point to make. So the first again is to is to really have a decent drawing at the beginning. The second is to keep your tonal structure simple. The third is to, um, to make sure that you translate the light shapes that you see or the dark shapes that you see in nature into specific shapes. I think, I think those, are, those are two 
two biggest mistakes I think that the students make when they start with tone is they make it they make it too complicated, which I've already talked about, and um, and then they also um, don't make enough of a shape. They may sort of just scrub in a tone, and it's important to to try to see um, try to see tone as shape um, because. What you're doing when you make a shape is you are making, you're essentially making structure. If you don't, if you don't um, create a definite shape out of it, then you're not really, um, you're not making a specific kind of a structure. So a lot of times, what I do is I actually, before I put in a shape, I, I make a point of drawing it in, like I physically just sort of lightly map out for myself where that where that next shape is going to go so that I have a, um, a very specific um, shape idea that I'm going to construct at the time. And sometimes it's here, I sort of change my mind um, about the shape as I go, but that's okay. As long as I, as long as I sort of stay on that idea of making, making a shape. And sometimes the shapes are quite will be quite quite clear um, to you, and you can see those shapes um, without too much problem. And those are nice. That's nice when it happens. Sometimes the shapes are not so clear. And you have to make them clear as an artist. You have to, to make a decision about the shape that you see. Even if it's a very, it seems like a very um, non-specific, ephemeral kind of, kind of shape, it's important to um, sort of make that commitment to the fact that you are making a shape out of the tone. Pull out all of the, um, the principal light shapes that you see. So I've got you know, my mid-tone again. My darker tone, which is the shadows, and then my um, my light tone is where the light is, is striking most directly. From this point on, um, it's really just a matter of adding adding more shapes to develop this. So. Right now in here, this seems very hard, like this light against this dark, you know, it's a gentler kind of movement, but I can create a series of shapes that go from light and um, gradually get darker that will soften that form. Or if there are areas of lighter areas in here that sort of show the um, side plane over here to, to the forehead, I can continue to add those shapes. So where you go from here really depends on um, how developed you want to to make the drawing how naturalistic you want it to be, um, I can I can leave it like this, but I can make it more like what I see just simply by by adding shapes. So um, so again here there's um, there's a shape in here that's a little bit lighter, so I can come in and make a shape a little bit lighter. The the difficulty in, in sort of going forward is to is to continue this process of, of making shapes, and they become um, they become a, a little bit um, a little bit more challenging to to sort of recognize as you deal with the smaller and smaller shapes. But the foundation really is is here already. It's in this um, it's in the drawing. It's in the large structure of a light, a dark, and a midtone, and it's in the the general principle of, of translating what you see into a definite tonal shape. 